Well, hello guys and welcome to the Game Crown channel where I share interesting and exciting information about the most basic concepts of chemistry. If this video helps you to learn a little bit about this subject, then please like the video, share the video with your friends on different platforms, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up while watching this video at some point. Today we are going to discuss um, how to find the number of moles. So here we have a question, and what does and what does the question says is how many moles are there in 60 gram of sodium hydroxide? To solve these kind of questions, first of all, you need to uh, find the right conversion factor. But before discussing those things, uh, let's uh, calculate the molecular weight of the sodium hydroxide. So here the molecular weight of the sodium hydroxide is equal to 23, which is the atomic mass of the sodium and that of oxygen is 16 and that of hydrogen is 1 and when we add up these things we get uh, 40 grams and now I know that 40 gram of the sodium hydroxide is equal to 1 mole so now I have to calculate the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide and 60 gram so for this uh, I set up a conversion factor and I were to cancel the unnecessary units and we are remain only with the necessary units so uh, i set up the conversion factor in this way so 40 gram of the sodium hydroxide is equal to one mole of the sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide so now uh, here we set up a conversion factor to cancel the unnecessary units and here gram is i think the unnecessary unit so that's why we set up this equation to cancel these two units with each other and here we are left only with mole so when we uh, divide 60 by 40 we get uh, 1.5 moles of the sodium hydroxide and uh, this is the right way to solve this question uh, and if you changes uh, and if you make some changes to the conversion factor um, in this case uh, definitely you will get the wrong answer so let's give it a shot to solve this this question in a wrong way so here uh, we change the order of the conversion factor we actually change the uh, numerator into the denominator so here you can see that uh, here we uh, divide one mole by 40 grams but here we change the order and we divide the 40 gram by the one mole so if one mole of sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 grams then how many moles of 60 gram of the sodium hydroxide will be equal to number of moles so here uh, you can see that uh, you get the answer which is equal to uh, 2400 grams square well uh, this is completely insane uh, this doesn't make any sense to me because uh, i know that uh, one mole of the sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 gram and look at look to the value of uh, uh, gram square well th this doesn't make any sense to me because you know one mole of sodium oxide will be never equal to 2400 gram square so here you can see that this is the 100 percent wrong way to solve this question and this is the right way to solve the question so um, here I want to let you know that whenever you solve these kind of questions uh, you have to always set up the right conversion factor to, uh, to cancel out the unnecessary units and here you are remain only with the necessary units. Now the second question we want to discuss is what is the mass of 0.5 moles of the calcium carbonate. So here in this question we have to uh, calculate the number of grams of calcium carbonate from 0.5 moles of the calcium carbonate so in the first step uh, I calculate the molecular weight of the calcium carbonate uh, which is equal to um, 40 grams for calcium 12 for carbon and that of 16 for oxygen but we multiply uh, this 16 by 3 because here we have three oxygen atoms and we and when we uh, add these three values we get 100 grams now in the second step uh, I want to set up a conversion factor to cancel the unnecessary units uh, in this case uh, definitely these unnecessary units will be the mole so I will set up the equation or a conversion factor in the way to cancel out the number of moles and here we are and here we are only left with the 
mass in grams so I know that uh, so here you can see that uh, one mole of the calcium carbonate is 100 grams and I calculated this molecular weight already in this uh, example here you can see that so one mole of the calcium carbonate is equal to uh, 100 grams of the calcium carbonate so if one mole of the calcium carbonate contains 100 grams then how many uh, grams will contain in the 0.5 moles of the calcium carbonate so what happens here is uh, these two moles cancel each other and here uh, we are left only with the uh, mass which is uh, mayer in grams so we multiply this uh, 100 by 0.5 gram and uh, we get uh, 50 grams so uh, in this example uh, if you have 0.5 moles uh, of the calcium carbonate then it will definitely contain 50 grams and uh, this is how you will solve this question now we want to discuss the third numerical and the numerical is uh, in a certain experiment uh, 8.50 multiplied by 10 raised to power 25 molecules of water were used calculate the number of moles we have to calculate the number of moles from this number of molecules so here you can see in the solution uh, first of all uh, we want to um, calculate the molecular weight of water which is very easy and it's 18 gram now I know that um, one mole of the water which is equal to 18 grams contains 6.023 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 23 molecules and this is the important factor uh, I will use this number uh, in a conversion factor uh, I will set up a conversion factor to uh, uh, cancel the unnecessary uh, units and um, here we will left only with uh, the necessary and important units so in this case uh, you can see now the given data is 8.50 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 25 molecules this is the given data and we have to find the number of moles of the water from this data so now uh, i want to set up a conversion factor you know it's very easy to um, set up a conversion factor so um, i know that 6.023 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 23 molecules uh, is equal to one mole of the water or you can say that one mole of the water contains 6.023 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 23 molecules now if one mole of the water contains uh, 6.023 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 23 molecules or you can say if 6.023 molecules of water contains one mole of the water then uh, how much uh, number of moles will contain in 8.50 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 25 molecules so what will happen here this molecule will cancel with this molecule and here uh, you can say that uh, here uh, we are only left with the mole because these two cancel each other now we have simply to divide the 8.50 divided by 6.023 and uh, you can say that uh, we subtract this 23 uh, from 25 because the basis in the numerator and the denominator are equal it is 10 so that's why we subtract 23 from 25 and we get um, 1.411 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2 moles of the water so when you uh, divide this number by this one you get 1.411 and when we subtract 23 from 25 we get we get 10 raised to the power 2 so here we get the right answer and this answer is 1.411 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2 moles of water so here basically uh, you can say that um, the uh, number of molecules which are given and this is the number of molecules which are given so this number of molecules which are given contains the 1.411 number of moles of water